Also, I'm okay with being recorded, but that means the DM has to... Uh, my only request is if I'm being recorded, the DM has to eat sugar-free gummy bears for the entire length of the session. I can do that. And I not mute my microphone, so it's just... All day long. Precisely. Yeah, that was, that was basically all that happened. You guys got hired by this dwarf guy who was your friend. Uh, him and one other person in your little adventure party decided to move on and go ahead and uh, get things ready while you guys stayed with the wagon. You guys quickly caught up to their horses, at least, and found out their horses were killed. And uh, it's very, very fresh, very recent, but as soon as you were checking out the horses, goblins pounced. You were ambushed. You guys survived the ambush. Say again? I didn't realize it was their horses. The, the guys that we go with. Yeah, yeah, it's their black horse. I think I told you guys that when you did your medicine check. No, I don't think you did. Oh, I thought you did, you just forgot. Well, there's also... Nah. Hold on. <laughs> if you look, these guys are riding black horses. I don't know if you oh, if you can notice that, but... I see. Yeah. That was, that was a purpose detail. Look, Chase. We're retarded, okay? You gotta be clearer than that. <laughs> He's not wrong. These were their horses. <laughs> 100%. How do you guys want to pick up? Um, do we leave the room? Uh, there's no room. You guys are outside, but... Well, you know what I mean. You can rummage through the goblins' pockets and whatnot if you want. Yeah. Do I do a check for that or anything? Uh, no, you could, you could do that just with time. Um, so I don't think you find much on them, though. Goblins tend to be pretty bare bones. They just kind of have uh, loincloths and really, really beat up weapons. And so most of their stuff is rusty and janky, and you'd be lucky to sell it for scrap metal, honestly. So it's, and some of it's literally just rocks that they've sharpened. <laughs> well, I, I was going to ask something. I can't remember if we did it at the end of the... Of the session, but I believe Lulu was injured from the goblin fight. I can't remember if we healed that yes. up. Yes. I, I can. I can heal if you so wish. Yeah, I have seven out of fourteen hit points. Okay. So yeah, you guys didn't take a rest or anything. So if you're hurt, you would still be hurt. A good survival. You want to make a survival check for me? And a nineteen. Oh yeah, you definitely pick it up. So. If you look over where this upside down goblin is, there is actually a trail up to the north that it looks like it's been pretty um, well used. And you get the feeling this isn't the first time the goblins have set up an ambush here. And it also looks like something heavy has been dragged this way recently. So you would assume uh, this would be the way to go. I was, I was just going to say if, uh, if I could uh, loot the goblin that I turned to cinders earlier. If there's anything left, then, you know, loot something that you, you know, turn to cinders. Un unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of uh, worthwhile stuff, just like with the other goblins. The bow is essentially a stick with a string on it that if you were to try to pull back all the way, it would just snap. Um, most of their loot, unfortunately, is just trash at this point. They're, they're really poor and squalid, poor little creatures. He's just throwing the eyes of your enemy. Hmm? You could use the dust to throw at people. Oh, the the cremated goblin dust? <laughs> Pocket sand. <laughs> is is that actually a viable option? It's D and D. Everything's a viable option. Yeah. Uh, the effect of it will be will you know depend on the die. Okay, I'll take some of the ash and put it in my pocket. I guess. All right. You can now add to your inventory uh, goblin cremation or goblin dust or whatever you want to call it. You got it. Uh, oh wait, uh, Grogbog, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw for me, now that I think about it. Oh, uh, sure thing. Constitution? Uh, yeah. Wah, wah. 14. The DC was 15, so unfortunately, some of the dust does get in your nose, and despite your big masculine dragon form, you let out a little- Did anybody else hear that? Yeah, it's an adorable little sneeze, but- <laughs> That's all that happens. Grogbog is just gonna just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Present what marching order you would go through the northern path. That would be helpful to me, just so I know who's in the front, who's in the back, things like that. 
So I, I guess the, the main question is, who's in front here? Who's leading this? Not the cleric. So yeah. Why not? You, you, you sound perfect for leading. Go on. I'm no good at physical. I'm, I'm no good for physical. All I can heal, I, I look. If you want, I'll go a little closer to the front. But putting me at the front is probably not the best idea. Uh, well, you're a big scary dragon, dude. Come on, come on. I can probably go to. I can go front. to the front if you so desire. <laughs> I'll go. Go ahead and make a perception check. I'm also going to check your passive perception just to see what it is. Okie dokie. Yep, so an 11, you're on the lookout for goblins potentially or anything else that might stir your way. And so you're looking up into a bunch of the trees and the bushes and whatnot. And unfortunately, with an 11, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. You managed to do it. Um, there was a trapped, like, uh pit that they had covered with some loose sticks and some branches and whatnot. Now, the pit didn't have any spikes or anything in it, but it still is about a six-foot drop. You manage to... Your foot goes straight through the fake um, twigs and, like, scrub, but you manage to reach out and, like, fall on your chest and your belly button to right on the edge, and you manage to cr catch yourself and crawl out. It was a close call. But now you know these guys are leaving traps in their wake. Or at least there's a trap. I'll let my party know that. Hey guys, there's like some Bugs Bunny traps here. Keep an eye out. Good to know. Who's Bugs Bunny? Well, he's a wascally wabbit. <laughs> he's a wascally <laughs> So you guys continue on. It, this takes a little bit of time. This is about uh, 90 minutes of trekking through the forest and whatnot. You guys keep a lookout for traps and everything. Your guard is up. And you guys eventually come to here. And you should see all of your guys. You see a little stream or a river that seems to be coming out of a cave over here. And so, yeah, you can measure and it, it'll be accurate now. I mean, can I do a perception check on the area? Uh, yeah, go ahead. And also, you're not supposed to be able to do that, Marcus. I don't know how... To what? How are you doing that? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you are. I can't even... Bullshit. I turned that... I specifically turned that off because of these shenanigans. What? It seems not to have stopped him in any capacity. Well, I'll have to re-google that, I guess, because that was, that was like a whole bunch of work that apparently did nothing. I can't move myself. I'll just make a new me. Oh I my god. <laughs> I will ban you. Anyway. Where were we at? You're doing a perception check? Uh, yeah, what are you looking for? And go ahead and make your roll. Well, I was looking for any signs of life or traps. But I only got five. You only got five? Mm, it, it, this doesn't look like a big enough river for fish to be in or anything. Uh, there's not any wildlife that you see. Uh, you're not seeing a, a whole lot right now. Yeah. The cave is dark, so as a reminder, if you don't have dark vision, you will need a source of light somewhere. Uh, how would you like to proceed? By charging straight in, of course. So you want to charge straight in right by here, like that? Maybe. Maybe. What determines the maybe? You are you are the one person who does not have a light source. <laughs> Who needs a light source? When you got... Yeah, bro, just go in swinging. You got this. Make a perception check for me real quick. Ah. Okay. As you step into the no. water. Because you'd have to step into the water to get across there anyway. A whopping 11. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. You, don't, you don't see anything either. Not good. Fantastic. There's nothing here, you guys. Don't worry about it. As you say that... Alright. 